As you build your ruler, you're going to have a lot of cylinders in here. And a good idea is to group them up. And I'm going to group them in groups of 10. And again, I'm just thinking about my ruler. So I'm just going to group up the first 10, the second 10, the third 10, etc., etc. So I think I'll have 10 groups when I'm done. Now, how do you group things? You make a new collection. So now I'm selected, I've selected the ruler collection. Right click. You could duplicate, but I don't want to duplicate it. I'm going to just make new. This makes a new collection here. I'm just gonna let it go with ruler one because I'm gonna call the first one ruler one, the second uh, set of cylinders ruler two. You do have to highlight all these and drag them inside of ruler one. There are some things you cannot undo in Blender and I believe making a collection you can't undo. So just be a little bit careful. If you're ever in doubt, you can always save your file, save as or save a copy just in case you make a mistake some things you can't undo, this might be a good time to uh, make a copy in case you screw something up and don't know how to undo it. All right, so now I have ruler one. All of these items are inside ruler one. If I want to, I can collapse it, which is really what I wanted to do, group it up, and then I'm able to uh, make it really small. There's, You could duplicate by selecting all the cylinders. Shift D to duplicate and move all these over. I don't want to tell you all the keyboard shortcuts because I want you to remember some of them. So I've just made a copy of them, but if you look, they're all inside ruler one. So what I'm going to do is new, hopefully call it ruler two. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to grab all of these cylinders. It looks like I grabbed too much. So I'm going to start here from 12 to 19, drag it. Nope. Nope, I missed a few. So I'm using shift, holding down shift to select some more. I'm gonna drag these into ruler two. So now it does look a little bit crazy, but I can collapse ruler one and now just work with ruler two. Another option is you can duplicate an entire collection. I'm gonna call this ruler three. And this is a duplication of everything in ruler two. And now I can highlight all these and move them over. So hopefully this will help you keep your project organized in a way that makes sense. And you don't wanna see like, I think this will be a hundred cylinders when I'm done. I don't really wanna see a hundred cylinders listed out here. That to me is gonna drive me crazy in a bad way. And this way, at least, I can collapse these and just work on one at a time. If you needed to, you could hide uh, the entire collection. It didn't delete it, just hides it from view. So you could focus on one of them. You can hide them all, whatever uh, you want to do. You can hide the ruler body, but obviously, I don't think that's a good idea because you need to lay them out nicely. And this should let you build up your ruler uh, using all the methods that we've learned so far.